bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Quickly and to the point. I've got a triple tree over here. Um, this part is probably older than me. In fact, I know it's older than me because the bike is from the uh, uh, early 70s, maybe late 60s, doesn't matter. Um, it's a piece of aluminium that's been on the, on the road for quite some time and then probably even longer in storage. And I'm going to show you a couple of tricks how we're going to clean it up today. So first thing I want to do, we're going to give it a good clean. And that's really rather simple. A bit of cleaning solution. A bit of a scotch bright, so all the dirt comes off and we can see what we're actually dealing with. That couldn't be any easier. Okay, after all, that's not in a bad shape at all. Um, but what I can see right now is damage, because obviously with all the dirt on it, it was kind of hidden away. So I can see somebody whacked it with a hammer right over here. There's a number of hammer marks or some other tools from underneath here. Um, this will need to be dealt with before we can move on to the next step. So what I do over here in situations like this, I use just a regular uh, metal file. And very gently you want to shape that metal back into, into place. I mean I can't make it look exactly like new. But what I can do, I can blend in that damage, so it's not so visible when we finish the actual process. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure that things like this over here, you know, I can shape it a little bit into place and all the way around, making sure they are less noticeable, less visible to a naked eye. Right, so next step is my um, grinder, grinder or buffer, bench grinder, bench buffer. And what I've got here, it's um, a scotch bright wheel. It's basically the same thing as your regular red scotch bright, but this is reinforced, so it doesn't obviously go flying everywhere. But it's uh, very flexible, a very forgiving uh, piece of equipment. And the importance of uh, um, working with that, you need to kind of remember to work one way, um, because that's going to produce kind of scratches, kind of uh, brushed aluminium effect, which is what I'm after. I don't want to polish it to a mirror finish. I don't want that at all. Uh, I just want to renew it a little bit and I like the brushed aluminium effect. So you need to remember to work one way. So if you start going this way, um, don't turn it over and go like this because you will see different scratches. So you need to kind of stay one way and I think this is the best way of doing it around here. You can go this way, but it's going to be more difficult. Um, another part oh, you need to be careful with is them sharp corners, sharp edges around here. Um, when you get caught on that, uh, that can rip the wheel you know, to small pieces or you can even <laughs> further damage, you can catch your uh, piece of equipment and throw it out of your hand, so you need to be very careful. Obviously all the protection um, needed. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to show you this bad boy in action. And this is how it looked like about 20 minutes on a big wheel. Obviously, I can't get to a, a tight spots over here, but because of the size of the wheel. Um, so I'm going to switch to a smaller one and use a Dremel. And the process is virtually the same, just on a smaller scale.
and just like this within approximately half an hour of real time um, I've got my brushed aluminium effect and yes you can go ahead and polish it to super mirror finish you can't do that you can't go over the top with it but I never liked that effect and this is not what I was going for just wanted to clean it up a little bit get rid of some of the damage we had over here and I think I'm pretty happy with that Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here well I hope that helps guys I hope that helps if you are trying to refresh some of the aluminium parts in your on your bikes or some any other components uh, I hope you learn anything new from this video I hope you pick something up if you think I can learn something from you please 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 drop me a comment below I would love to see how you are dealing with aluminium parts but for today we are done guys thanks very much for watching rock hard drink beer and I'll see you soon